What's going on everybody? It's Brian for JailbreakZone.com and in this video I'll be showing you how to change the weather location on any sort of winterboard lock screen or home screen widget as seen here. Now the theme that this is, uh, this theme is actually called, let me go check real quick. This theme is Revy by Chris and an easy, the easiest way to actually change your weather location is to go to iFile Hopefully everybody has that. You could just go ahead and buy it in Cydian and install it. And then you need to go into the var folder and then stash and then themes. Then you need to go find your theme file or folder. And then in that theme folder, you should have a wallpaper.html and a lock background HTML. That is if your theme is using a weather widget. And you're going to have to open both of these, but it's the same process for both of them. So first I'm going to start with wallpaper.html. Just tap on it and then go to text viewer. Tap on the edit button and then tap on the magnifying glass so we could go and search for the line that we're looking for. And basically you just need to type in L-O-C-A-L-E. So this is for your location. And it might vary by different themes, but basically you have to look for something location related like this. And then you should see some sort of code next to it. And if you find that, then it should be the weather location that you're looking for. So you can see that right next to that, I have my zip code. Oh wait, that's some other, some other zip code. This is actually the Yahoo weather code for my location. So you basically need to go to Safari. I'm not going to actually show you this, but you need to go to Mobile Safari. You need to go to Yahoo Weather. And then once you're actually at the weather page for your location, go to the URL for it. And then all the way at the end, there should be a number. Copy that entire number and then paste it in for whatever it was there before. I think it was 3172 or something like that. I think it was for, for Montreal or something. But once you get your number, just copy it in between these single quotes right here and then just go ahead and save the file and then you just need to go ahead and do the same thing to the lock background HTML file if your home screen and or lock screen is using a weather widget so I know this wasn't an in-depth look at this but it's it's really not that difficult all you have to do is just go through the files see how they work figure out what you have to change and go ahead and change it then, of course, you need to go to Yahoo Weather to actually get the weather code. Most themes just use a zip code, but if it doesn't, you might have to go get the actual um, Yahoo Weather code. So thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any questions on this, you can go ahead and leave that below. I know it wasn't an in-depth look, but once again, it's not too hard. You just have to play around with the files a little bit. As long as you don't change the wrong line or delete the wrong file, you're not going to screw anything up since you can always just reinstall the theme anyway so that's it thanks a lot for watching and i'll talk to you guys soon